everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Kirsty, aka K Beth Bookish, and on today's video, I am recommending The Rainbow. As we know, it's June, it's Pride Month, therefore, it's the queer rainbow. I've chosen this design in particular mostly because I feel it incorporates more of the spectrum, but also it has more colours, which means I have more books to recommend. So what I'm going to do is go through each of the colours and just recommend a book based on the cover to match it. I was inspired to do this after watching Ren's A to Z queer recommendations, so please go check them out and go check that video out. And I thought, well, I don't necessarily want to do the exact same video, but I did think, well, maybe I can do a book recommendation based off of the different colours of the rainbow. And I looked on my shelves and I had books for every colour and I was like, absolutely yes. A lot of these books are common and are sort of more widely known. I have tried to include a few lesser known gems, but yeah, you may have heard of all of these and I, but I hope that even so you will enjoy them. I'll give a tiny bit about what they're about and what the representation is, but yeah, just all of them are queer. For red, we have, I couldn't not, it was either going to be this or Sunbear Trials for green, but I had another book for green. So for red, we have Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Male male romance with a trans main character, a gay main character, they enter a relationship, it has ghosts, it has cultural stuff, it has so much in here but the central queerness is a male male romance that's one of my all-time favorite books so check it out orange was a difficult one i didn't have any books that were specifically orange however i did have the bookshop and the barbarian by morgan stang and a lot of the cover is orange uh this one is a sapphic romance and this is more of a cozy fantasy i haven't read it yet but i'm looking forward to for yellow i've chosen cafe con light to by emery lee i'm going to take the cover off because the yellow is the book itself, because a more alarming shade of yellow I have yet to see on a book. But this one features Theo and Gabby. They are both soccer players who don't really get along. They also own rival family restaurants. So there's like that kind of not really getting along very well dynamics, but then situations force them together and they realise they have more in common and start to fall in love with each other in the process. So this is a male male YA romance but I really loved it and it's centered around food, so. For green, I have another YA male male romance centered around food, seems to be a theme. And that is Fake Dates and Mooncakes by Shelley. I read this a couple of months ago. I gave it all the five stars. I cried, I laughed, I smiled. It was just so, so good, so, so wholesome. Imbued with Chinese folklore and tales and mythology as well as le I learned a lot about the Lunar, uh, the Mid Autumn Festival and about mooncakes and things like that. And it was just oh, so cute, cute. And there's a dog. <laughs> For blue, we have an adult male male romance and that is Conventionally Yours by Annabeth Albert. This features two card game players who are sort of both the top of their game. They're invited to go to a tournament and they end up Due to circumstances, they end up alone together on a road trip, going like a two week road trip to get to the convention and they start to realise they have feelings for each other and that their rivalry may not be so much rivalry as envy of each other. And once they start communicating through that, a most beautiful relationship starts to form. This one also does have um, neurodivergence rep in here as well. And I will also say with this one, read it, but be aware there is talk of homophobia so if that kind of thing at the moment is triggering for you and you're uncomfortable reading that i would skip this one because one of the main characters a lot of his backstory evolves around that so do be warned going into it for indigo or sort of like navy blue i have gone with 16 souls by rosie talbot this is another one with ghosties and ghoulies and i love it this one also has incredible disability rep in that the main character is a bilateral amputee one of the characters in here is deaf there's a lot of mental health talk and also the main character the main character is gay and the love interest is trans mask and it's just a really amazing book full of different types of rep with an amazing intriguing story when the ghosts of York go missing and these two have to try and find out what's going on. 
And then for Violet, we go to the other side and we go to the sapphic side of romances and that is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. I know I've talked about this series a fair bit on this channel, but I will always plug it. Heavy trigger warnings on trauma, PTSD, SA situations. Uh, it's not an easy read, but it is a powerful read. And the fact that these two women, these two girls can find love despite the hopeless, abusive situation they're in was just gorgeous and I preferred the second book and I'm still too scared to read the third book but it definitely is one I highly highly recommend. There we go so there's our main flag and then for the extra bit we start off with the colour white and for this I have chosen Fence by C.S. Picat. This has got quite a few queer characters in there's definitely gay rep I'm not sure if one of them is bisexual I think one of them is transgender there's just a lot of rep in this book and it centers around a fencing school but there's a really good balance between the sport and the fencing and the that side of things and the actual relationship building and it is definitely a slow burn do not expect the main two characters to fall in love and be a couple within the first volume we're now on volume five i think and they still aren't actually together but if you love a slow burn and really getting to watch them grow and start to trust each other this is the one for you. I'm trying to remember these off the top of my head. So I think the next one was the sort of pastel, was sort of like the pastel pale blue. And for this one, I'm going with Heartstopper. It's more green than blue, but a couple of the other volumes have definitely more blue in them. But I can't talk about queer and amazing wrecks and amazing things to read without talking about Heartstopper. Just, I can't do it. So definitely Heartstopper by Alice Oseman, which features Charlie, who is out and gay and knows he's gay. And then we he strikes up a friendship with Nick, who starts to realise he might be bisexual. And it's just a beautiful queer awakening. There's also trans characters in here. There's asexual characters in here. There's lots and lots of different types of rep and diversity. But certainly for later volumes, be aware that there are trigger warnings for eating disorders, if that is something that you need to be aware of. Um, but the rest of the series is just so so beautiful and awesome. Well, the whole series is beautiful. And then we had like the pale pink And it's a bit darker than I was planning but I'm just going with the idea of pink and that is Loveless by Alice Oseman This one is asexual and aromantic is Arrow Ace Rep and our main character is navigating the fact she knows there's something not not wrong but she knows there's something very different about her compared to most of the people she knows and it's just her story of when she goes to university exploring that and trying to figure out who she is this one made me question a fair bit about myself it made me cry and when i met alice at yalk and got her to sign it i showed her a couple of my highlights and she was like oh <laughs> and it was just a really lovely experience i love that these kind of books are out there to help people like me start to understand themselves because you know for 30 years I thought I was wrong and broken and now I'm learning that no I'm just wired differently and there is a name for that. Next up was brown and for this one I went with A Psalm for the World Built by Becky Chambers because quite a lot of these colours are sort of earthy browny. This features non-binary main character and one that just doesn't have any kind of gender at all like it's referred to it as it and it's a beautiful story that talks about identity and purpose um, and it's set in a dystopian world that's actually more like a utopia which you don't get a lot of those kind of fictions it's not a everything's terrible the world has ended and everything's now ruined kind of dystopia it's a this big event happened for a while we struggled and now we've recovered and everything's actually better than it was kind of dystopia which i thought was fantastic the final one we have is black and for this I've gone with Dark Rise by C.S. Picat. I haven't finished reading it as you can see but it was so good and I know that this one's queer. Um, I can't remember exactly whether it's a male, 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 female, non-binary. I can't remember but the story was very gripping and very hooking. Like it hooked me in very quickly so when I get back to it I have no doubt I'm going to just devour it. So there we have it. Here is our... I'm annoyed that the spines don't necessarily align to the colours of the covers but for the most part here we have our queer rainbow of reads 
Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these. And if you haven't read any of them, are you thinking about now picking any of them up? Also, don't forget to link your own recommendations below. I'm always happy to try out new books and learn new things. And yeah, happy Pride Month to anyone who celebrates it. Or if you're in an out, or if you are an ally, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to check out my Patreon as well as my Etsy store because you know I read queer books. I have a few queer candles based on the characters, so you know. So go check out every, all of that. I hope you're all good. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're enjoying Queer Month if you celebrate it. And if you don't, then I hope you're having a fantastic month. And I will see you on the next one.